Hey, this is Jen, and I'm here with Matt. We're live at KubeCon North America. We've been uh, working the Nginx booth and talking to a ton of people about Kubernetes, traffic management, security, and it's been really interesting to hear about you know, not only what areas people are interested in, but picking up on areas where there's actually some confusion. And one of those top areas that we've both been picking up on is this whole API gateway versus gateway API. Uh, I would say most of the people I've talked to don't realize there's even a difference. Would you say that's? Yeah, it's very conflated right now. Yeah. Between, is it just a repositioning of terms or is it actual different concepts? Right, so I have an, an analogy that I like. Uh, you know, we've kind of been using this airport analogy concept for a little while to explain what ingress egress traffic is, what service to service traffic is, you know, what position an ingress controller plays in an airport, for example, would be that traffic control tower that says what planes can land, uh, what services, aka gates, they can go to, and when they can leave, that egress traffic. And then the next step of that would be your service mesh is controlling, you know, once things are on the ground, uh, what can go where. You know, like your luggage comes off the plane from, I don't know, Ireland, mm -hmm. and maybe your next stop is Spain, and so it's commuting that traffic between those two places. And so an API gateway in that kind of like example is another one of those tools. It's a proxy. Mm -hmm. And so often an API gateway could be performing the ingress egress or the service to service type of management mm -hmm. really around those API related uh, functions. So rate limiting, uh, authorization, authorization, authentication, authentication um, you know, blue green deployments, that kind of thing. Now a gateway API, well, let's take a step back. In our whole analogy here, we've got all these people and tools that are sending places and people, all these things, but how do they know what to send where? Where does that information come from? Well, in an airport, they probably have you know, a whole bunch of policies, like from the FAA, if it's the US, that kind of thing. And so this is where the Gateway API enters our uh, analogy. The Gateway API is essentially that set of rules that says where things can go, but it's not actually sending the things. So how do you explain this and like, let's take it out of our airport analogy. How do you explain this to people? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, fun, it's a fun set of concepts to tease apart. Yeah. Now the Gateway API really is just an expression of the traffic. It's a, in a, it's a, it's a set of rules that express or define where your traffic is supposed to go and how it's supposed to be dealt with. It is very much traffic oriented. Uh, does it match this HTTP header? Send it here. Does it match these query parameters? Send it here. Is it gRPC traffic? Is it HTTP traffic? Apply these, apply these TLS, uh, TLS certificates. So it's really a set of rules. Uh, and it's not necessarily bundled with a, uh, bundled with higher order concepts yet. Now, an API gateway is bundled with higher order concepts, the authentication, the rate limiting, and uh, the, did I say authorization? I didn't say it yet. All uh, right, authorization, yeah. authorization. So they do overlap. They are, there are some intersecting sets of responsibilities, but one is an expression and then one is a set of features. One is a set of rules and the other is, the other is an expression of how you want your, your APIs to behave and, and not necessarily how the traffic's supposed to move. Once again though, they are both abstractions. Each has a concrete implementation below it uh, and those concrete implementations could be any number of proxies. And it could be the same proxy that is consuming the API gateway and turning that into traffic rules, but then also acting as an API gateway because it's fulfilling these sets, these sets of, uh, these sets of properties, yeah. the auth authentication, authorization, and rate limiting.